What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. So, we got a bunch of stuff for you today. We got the early pre spawn season about to be in full swing. Uh, the Super Bowl's right around the corner. We got the first Elite Series tournament of the year right around the corner as well. So, uh, let's get it right into some of the baits that we got for you today. The first one here is actually not a new bait at all, new reel. A uh, new reel from Luz. Two super exciting things about this new reel from Luz. This is the new Hyperspeed LFS. So first thing, super exciting, 9.5 to 1 gear ratio. Brings in about 40 inches of line per handle turn, which is Luz's fastest reel they've ever made. Second thing, you can only get this reel exclusively at Tackle Warehouse until July. So if you're a big fan of Luz and you really need that reel to just cover a lot of water, if you're gonna be throwing a lot of lipless crankbaits here coming up really shortly and you just wanna burn some grass banks or grass flats, uh, this is gonna be a great reel for that. You know, when the summertime comes around and you wanna you know, burn some buzz baits or top waters, things like that, this is another good reel for that as well. Um, you know, a couple of the features on the reel, got that, that candy apple red finish to it. So unlike any of the, the other reels in the Lose lineup, so you can look down in your box, spot this thing, know exactly where it's at. Um, 27 position, uh, quiet cast braking system on the side, so you can really fine tune this into about just about any size bait you need. Uh, what I like about it too, it's got the 95 millimeter handle, you know, nice EVA knobs on there. They got the speed keeper on there, which is a super nice feature, especially for rods that don't have, don't have a keeper system on it, or you just don't like the keeper system on it. Uh, we got a 20 pound drag system, just a phenomenal, phenomenal reel. And like I said, you can only get this right now at TW until July. So pick them up while you can. So we got a whole new series of crankbaits from Ichikawa uh, and Rick Clun designed these as well. So this is the new Ichikawa Rick Clun Flat Shad. So this is the second crankbait that Rick Clun has helped design for Ichikawa. And this Flat Shad, this is going to be a bait you want to have in your box right now. So early pre-spawn, these, these flat side crankbaits really, really excel. When it's cold, that tighter vibration really helps trigger a lot more bites. We got them in a few different sizes. This is the 45 size and that's the 65 size. These two sizes actually come with a square bale on them. So you're gonna get that, that really, really tight vibration. You're not gonna be down in that five to six foot range. You're gonna get great deflection off of cover. But if you're looking to go a little bit deeper, they have a 65 size that has an elongated coffin style bill on it. So this will get you down kind of that 11 to 14 foot range. Gonna be great for our reservoirs out here. If you fish a little bit deeper water, this is going to be the one you want to go with. That coffin style build just gives you a couple more deflection points and just helps it ricochet off of rocks and stumps and things like that. Awesome, awesome crankbaits. They've got some really cool colors. I mean, Rick Clun, one of the most legendary anglers of all time. I mean, we got that St. John's tournament coming up again. We'll see if he, he puts, an, uh, puts another win in his trophy case. Down here on the hooks, all the Ishikawa crankbaits are going to come of course, with Ichikawa treble hooks on them. And these treble hooks have this like uh, slick gray, they call it a magic coating. I believe it's a fluorine based coating and it's super slick and these hooks are sticky, sticky sharp. So you don't have to, you don't have to tune or do anything to these crankbaits. You can take them right out of the package and fish them. You don't have to change out hardware, nothing like that, they're ready to go. And these are gonna be fish catching machines coming up here in the pre-spawn season. And then of course, you know, different times of the year, if you have like that dirty water, these flat side cranks will push a little bit more water than your, than your rounded body style crankbait. So another good option to have a flat side in the box as well. So if you're looking for some new spinnerbaits here for the pre-spawn season, Stanley's got some new spinnerbaits and these are some of the most awesome spinnerbaits I've seen in a long time. So these new Stanley Vibra Wedge series, we've got the Vibra Wedge Extreme and then we also have a new Dirty Water Tandem series. So on the Extreme, it's built on Stanley's signature Vibra Shaft frame. Uh, the wedge is the, referring to the blades down here. So the Viber shaft frame, it starts off as a 0.041 gauge wire at the head, and then it tapers down to a 0.018 gauge wire down here where the blades are connected. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna give you a lot of strength and durability down here on the head between your line tie and the, and the head of the bait itself. So it's gonna stay durable, gonna be able to handle big fish and not bend and crank torque and, and you know and get out of tune but down here where it matters where you want that flex and vibration that wire is going to taper down so your blades are going to get more vibration than you would with a traditional style spinnerbait another cool thing that's on these spinnerbaits is they're using their wedge blades so these fiber wedge blades are a feature of variable thicknesses so 
they're thinner up towards the top where they connect to the where they connect to the bait and then they're thicker down towards the tail end of them and you can feel when you're holding this bait these blades are heavier than a traditional like a standard willow leaf blade and with that thicker blade down at the bot at the bottom of it it's just going to have so much more thump than you would get with just a regular blade that's the same thickness all the way through so a really cool design they do have hand tied skirts that are that are tied on with silicone so it's not going to it's not going to fall off or wear down really easily like you would get with some of the banded spinner baits out there uh, with the with the tandem dirty water series you instead of the, the double willow you're going to get the colorado willow and then of course you're getting that big bright painted blade up there so again this is going to be a, a great time of the year to be throwing this style of blade with that uh, that bright orange blade on there we've seen over the last few years on multiple professional tournaments uh you know tournaments getting dominated by guys that are throwing spinner baits with those bright orange kicker blades on there. So make sure you wanna pick one of these up. If you got some, some spring rains coming in, your water's really muddy and dirty, that's gonna be the one you wanna go with. All right, the last one we got is the new Baby Viber Shaft Spinner Bait. This thing is awesome. This is actually my favorite one in the lineup. I love this little compact size spinner bait. So if you're dealing with maybe bait uh, fish that are chasing really, really small bait fish, or you're just fishing ponds, you're, fishing, you're dealing with smaller bass in general, that's gonna be the one you wanna check out. Or if you're fishing like really clear water situations and the, you know, the full size spinner bait is just gonna to be too much, too overpowering, this little guy is gonna get you some bites. So uh, same concepts as all the other spinner baits. It's got those wedge blades on there, um, really nice skirts. It only weighs about an eighth of an ounce. So you're gonna to have to throw it on kind of a lighter action bait casting rod, or you can throw it on a spinning rod if you like. Uh, I think I'm gonna run a little soft plastic trailer on there help it add a little bit of weight, maybe throw it on like eight or 10 pound on a bait caster, maybe like a, like a medium cranking rod or something like that. Just awesome little compact spinner bait. If you want something that's just super, super small and just gonna get a lot of bites, that's gonna be the one you wanna check out right there. All right, from Rapala, we got a new crank that we've been waiting for for a long time. So this is the new Rapala BX Mid Brat. So the Brat series has been out for quite a while. If you're unfamiliar with the Brat series and what these cranks are all about, so it's a, it's a balsa core inside this bait. So you're, you're getting the benefits of a traditional balsa style crankbait, but it's also encased in a hard polymer plastic. So you're gonna get that durability and long lasting performance as you would with a traditional modern crankbait. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. You know, those old school balsa baits, they fish really good. They get some unbelievable action that you just can't replicate with plastic, but they're, they're not as durable. They get beat up you know, after a ton of fish, you know, you just can't get them to fish the way they, they were uh, when they were brand new. Now you're going to get that hunting action, that, that buoyancy that's really critical when you're going over a lot of logs and laydowns and, and boulders, uh, a lot of heavy cover, that balsa really shines and helps you dip, bounce and deflect over that stuff. And you're going to get those much more erratic deflections when you run into cover as well. So the mid-sized brat, you know, as the name implies, it's going to fall right in the middle of the regular brat and the big brat. It comes in two and a half inches in length, weighs seven sixteenths of an ounce. It, it runs about five foot, so that, that perfect right in the middle, you know, right in the middle size crankbait that everyone wants. Uh, they got it now in that brat series. They've got a ton of awesome colors, outfitted with VMC treble hooks, just a phenomenal square bill style crankbait that you need to have in your box for upcoming pre-spawn season. The last bait we got, kind of the best for last, one that's not gonna be for everyone though, this is the new Roman made South swim bait. So, oh, well, it's not a new bait. We just finally got some in stock. We haven't seen one of these in stock in years. If you're familiar with anything made by Roman made, these are individually handmade baits in Japan. I believe over 12 hours labor goes into making each one of these baits. So yeah, they're, they are phenomenal works of art, but they do come in a price. I believe this little guy comes in at 300 bucks. Um, but it's just that different profile than most of the other Roman mains that we've carried, like the Negotiator and the Mother, Mother Chaser, which are longer, more of that bait fish, you know, trout style uh, profile. This one gonna give you that small bluegill profile. And the, the paint job and the artwork and the finish on this thing is second to none. When you pull it out of the box and check it out, I don't even want to fish it. I just want to buy one, put it up on the mantle and just look at it. It's just such an awesome bait. Um, unlike some of the other Roma maids that have the silencers on the inside of the wood, this one doesn't, so it does click. 
So when you're twitching this thing along and working it, um, it's supposed to kind of mimic that sound of a bluegill feeding and popping. Um, if you're a swim bait collector, um, it, you know you're, you know about all the Roman made baits. If you want to pick one of these up, make sure you get them while you can because the batch that we have, once they're gone, they're going to be gone for good and never know when we're ever going to get another one in stock. All right, so if you're looking for some new line, Suffix has got the new Suffix Advanced Fluorocarbon Leader Line. So I've actually got to test out the Suffix Advanced a few years ago and that stuff is no joke strong. Um, but Suffix Advanced has only been available in the 200 and 1200 yard spools. And if you've wanted to use it for leader material, uh, we now have it in 25 yard spools. So I believe we, we have it everything down from about four or six pound up to 20 or 25 pounds. So got the whole range pretty much covered in there. Um, and now you don't have to spend the money on a full 200 yard spool. If you just need the leader material, um, looking to try something different out for any kind of finesse applications. A lot of people are running, you know, braid to leader for pretty much all their rods and reels now. This is great stuff. Uh, you, can pick up, you can pick up now. We finally got it in stock. We've been waiting for these since last iCast as well. A couple new storage options from Plano. We got their new micro boxes. So we got their new micro fly box and the micro jig box. These are super, super cool boxes. On the inside of them, they, both of them have a three level design. So they have a small tray that flips up so you can store your flies and stuff on both sides on the fly box. This is actually a magnetic drop zone in there. See so all your little, um, your little nymphs and things like that that just aren't gonna, you don't wanna put up here, you can drop them down in there and the, the magnets just hold them right there in place. They're not gonna flop around and get mixed up or anything like that. Just awesome little uh, design feature in the fly box. Of course, they all have the, uh, the rust stricter system in there, so you don't have to worry about any kind of rust or anything like that with, the, with your small jigs that you put in here. On the jig box, you can put all your jig heads up there on top, so if you're doing like a lot of float and fly, you do some ice fishing, uh, you know, any kind of stuff, you know, like wacky jig heads, stuff like that, you can store all that small terminal stuff in there, all those small jig heads, and just keep them nicely organized. And um, in these boxes, they're, they're watertight down at the, down at the bottom they have a gasket all the way around so you're not going to have any water leak in keeps everything nice and secure crystal clear lid so you can always see what's in there and keep them protected from rust and things like that if you need some new boating accessories here so we got a few things from boat bling so the first one here is a new glass saw so everyone's running like five six screens on their boats now uh hydro waves and bluetooth and gopros and all that kind of stuff Glass sauce is going to be for you. So it's got uh, polymer technology in there. So it, it repels all the water and residue once you, get, once you get it on there. It's going to help resist scratching. Um, it's going to keep all your screens super clear. So you can run this on, you can run this on your phone, TVs, uh, you know, any graph or anything you got on your boat. Just awesome stuff. Comes with a towel inside the packaging. And like I said, once it's on there, it kind of bonds to the surface. and going to help resist scratching as well. So help protect all those glass screens as well. Some of these got, you know, some people running twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of electronics on there. You want to keep those screens protected. The last one we got is their new green sauce. So especially right now, this time of the year, if you're doing a lot of fishing out in in foul weather conditions, you get a lot of rain, and you're just getting home, and you, your boat's not getting dried out. You're starting to get some mold and mildew buildup. This is going to be the stuff you want to use to clean that, uh, clean all that mold and mildew out. So this is an enzyme activated cleaner. It's actually ninety nine point nine percent natural and it's safe to use on any kind of sensitive surfaces. So you can use it on vinyl, carpet, fiberglass, uh, any, you know, anything like that. So you could also use it in your RVs, campers, uh, you know, any, any place where you're getting any kind of that mold, mildew, stuff build up like that. Inside of boat compartments is where, mostly where this is gonna come into play. And this is gonna be great stuff, just keeping your boat in tip top shape. And you don't wanna wait till the springtime, open your boat up and you just got mold and mildew everywhere and it's gonna become a mess. This stuff is going to clean it right up and not damage any of your uh, any of the surfaces that you're cleaning it on either. The last one we got here from Legit Designs. So we got a new rod series from Legit Designs. This is the new Standout series. So we got this in casting and spinning models, and we have them in a few two-piece models as well. I will say all the regular models uh, do have removable butt sections, so they come apart real easy. And when they're together, you, you can't tell that it's a two-piece rod at all. Um, they're super well-made. Legit Designs is out of, out of Japan, and their chief rod designer has been building rods for main, major manufacturers for over two decades. Um, this rod specifically 
has a 24 ton carbon base, uh, yeah, 24 ton carbon base blank, and it does have some sections of 30 ton and 40 ton carbon in it, just to, it, it's layered in specific sections to give you just the right balance, the right feel, increased sensitivity, lighter weight, and they are phenomenal rods. So if you're looking for like a JDM style rod, these come in at about 200 bucks. So you're getting a really awesome kind of custom style JDM rod for around $200, which is a great price. They got Fuji reel seats, they got Fuji guides on there. Um, all the, the models on there are a little bit on the shorter side. That's just how they run them in Japan. Uh, you know, rod storage and traveling is a much bigger issue. So the shorter rods tend to work out a little bit better. Uh, there's, we have quite a few like 6.6s, six 6.10s, six seven footers, um, a bunch of awesome sizes. Uh, like I said, if you're looking for a new JDM style rod, you don't want to you don't want to spend four or five hundred bucks. Check out these legit stand out rods. They are phenomenal rods. Also come with a protective case uh, in the package as well, or uh, a protective rod sleeve as well. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New with Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let us know which one of these products you're most pumped about.